Now, if you're a regular viewer <laughs> of Spotlight, you'll know we've been following the progress of the first puppies bred by Devon and Cornwall Police. At 10 months old, the little bundles of joy are now big brutes. Well, they've just had their final test to see if they're good enough to join the beat, but Andrea Ormsby begins when things were a bit more, well, cute and cuddly. <laughs> They're called the A-Litter, the first puppies specially bred by and for Devon and Cornwall Police. <laughs> and this is what they look like now, at just ten months old. Good boy, good boy. Now it's crunch time for the puppies. They're being assessed to see if they've got what it takes to go on to proper police dog training. Good boy, good boy. Guru, father figure, and now judge. Retired police dog handler Paul Glennon will make the final decision. Well, I think she enjoyed that. Tracking is a police dog's main line of work, so it's a crucial test. Well done. So, marks out of ten for Ash, what should you do? Ten. Ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. Come on, then! Bring it on! Come on! And they have all sorts of surprises to deal with over their three-day assessment. <laughs> so, how have they done? Will all seven make it through? Out of the three boys, Axel and, and Ari were absolutely outstanding on everything. With Argo, Argo passed all of the, um, the assessments, but he's not really probably bold enough to be a police dog, and so it wouldn't be fair to ask him to go into high-pressure situations with all the stress that that entails. All the four girls passed all of their assessments uh, with flying colours. Let's go. Um, the only problem is one of the girls, which is Anya, we don't think she's going to be big enough to have the stature to be a police dog, which is quite frustrating for us because she's been so good at everything else. When we visit litters from the breeders that we've used over the years, I normally sort of get the, the pick of the selection. And normally out of a litter of seven, there's probably two or three that are gonna make police dogs on average. So to get five, we're absolutely delighted. Axel and Ari have done so well, they've already been taken off their puppy walkers, the people they live with normally for around a year. Oh, I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. All of the work that we do for the puppies is to get them to this stage. You know, we're not dog trainers, we just puppy walk and we do our best to give the dog a good start in life and to be able then to go on and cope with the training that the police are going to give them. Axel and Ari will now start an intensive 12-week training course. The other three will start in September. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Exmouth. No, well oh. done to them.